Hey guys, this A agent in N8N basically will help you drive more sales or more leads, whichever business you are in, uh, based on the SEO seed keywords, okay? So if you are in B2B, you still need to use the right keywords to target and drive the right traffic based on the keywords, or maybe using Google Ads to target the right audience, you will still need to use those keywords. Or if you are somebody who just runs an online business, maybe it's a uh, Shopify store, or maybe it's a some kind of a micro SaaS web application. In any case, organically, when you drive traffic, it's going to be depending on the keywords. And if you're going to be driving traffic uh, using Google Ads, the same case scenario applies. You will need to use keywords to catch and drive the traffic, okay? And this agent exactly does that, okay? It's going to help you generate these seed keywords so you can drive the traffic that you need to grow and scale your business, okay? Um, well, you can use something like Ahrefs, okay? But again, guys, look at the price, $130 a month, okay? If you want to find keywords using Ahrefs, or you can use SEMrush, which is really popular uh, in the world of SEO. It's actually the number one player out there. Um, even Ahrefs is probably number two, so SEMrush is gonna be the number one. But again, guys, look at the price tag, $140 a month. Uh, so it's a pretty high price tag if you are a small business and maybe you just want to do a couple of small SEO researches for keywords. So you would be using this maybe once a week max. So paying $140 a month for something you would be using maybe four times a month. It's a bit of an overkill. So here, this uh, workflow over here, it's going to cost you less than a dollar to run uh, each time. Okay. And I'm going to explain you how it works behind the scenes. So you can kind of modify it based on your business and niche. And, and again, you will be able to download this entire template also for free. Uh, if you want to create an account with anything, import your template, and start working with it right away. So I'm going to teach you everything you need to know and also explain you the basics, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it right away. So a bit of a SEO basics and foundations, I would say. So what are the seed keywords? So seed keywords are essentially kind of the core keywords that people use to find your business or service. So for example, here, subscription software, customer retention, or SaaS marketing, or I don't know, the best uh, application to do this or that, right? So those are basically the seed keywords or foundation keywords. And you can use that basically to, you know, to expand your business based on the keywords. Maybe you wanna expand your market and you will need to have these keywords so you can target maybe a different audience, but kind of the same niche or in the same, under the same umbrella, right? Or for content planning or for PPC or basically Google ads, uh, pay-per-click as we call that. Uh, or market research and competitor analysis. So maybe you want to know what competitors are using for the keywords. So you can also use uh, Flow for that, okay? So the way it works, basically, uh, we're going to submit everything uh, through the format here. If I execute the workflow, here you're going to basically enter your product description. And guys, in a second, I'm going to run the flow so you can actually see it in live action. Um, here you're going to describe the uh, customer pain points or what kind of pain points your service or product is uh, solving, right? Um, then customer goals and objectives, in, in a sense, like what is the goal or objective of your ideal customer that they want to solve by using your product or service? Okay, uh, current solutions. Here it's more of a hypothesis. Like imagine what are your customers currently using as a competitor, for example. And then you're going to select the approximate expertise level of your customer, right? Are your customers like tech savvy? Are they like intermediate and stuff like that? So again, you're gonna choose that in here and then you're gonna click submit guys, okay? So let's go ahead and actually do it together. So for example, um, we can imagine that we have a micro web SaaS application that helps users to unsubscribe or maybe track their subscriptions, okay? Well, we all know the pain, like I probably have so many subscriptions that I'm not even aware of. So that's a good idea. So for example, let's imagine we have this business model. Uh, what are our pain points? Uh, not knowing what subscriptions uh, we have and getting overcharged, which is the standard in this case. Um, what do we want to have as a goal if we are the consumer uh, on that side of the, um, if we're wearing those shoes? We want to save money on subscriptions and unsubscribe for the ones we're not using. Uh, current solutions, uh, Rocket Money, that's one of the biggest ones. Um, the disadvantage of Rocket Money is that it requires you to connect your banking account to the app, which is not ideal, too much hassle, and really, I wouldn't trust that to anyone, really. Um, and what's my experience? I would say I, I'm intermediate, right? you know, I've tried some applications, so let's say some experience, okay? Uh, and let's submit that to NI10, okay? Now we're gonna go to executions, and know what's gonna happen, the NI10 workflow is gonna run, all right? Okay, right, so the entire thing took about uh, 12 seconds, which is pretty fast, okay? So everything went through the workflow, uh, so blazing fast. 
So here we can see we submitted the form. You can see, guys, uh, here's the initial data, right, that was submitted through the form. Um, then it went to the uh, set, set node, or essentially we kind of are taking this uh, JSON format right here on the left side, okay? And then we want to convert or basically set it to a string, which is going to be product, pain points, goals, current solutions, expertise level, submission time stop, and et cetera, okay? And basically you can see on the right side, this is basically after the uh, set node ran, it took this uh, content right here, the JSON content, and transformed it into this right here, okay? Um, and then we're basically going to be using something called aggregate data. And what it does, it basically takes all of this that is coming from the set node, okay? So it takes all of those uh, all of those strings, or basically all that JSON as well, because everything is an anytime as a JSON technically, which is JavaScript, could be JavaScript, um, and then it brings it to a data array right here, okay? So it's gonna take all of these, um, all of this JSON right here, and it's gonna put it into a single output, which is data, uh, and it's gonna basically store that under a single data array, right? So I believe that should be an array right here. And then we're sending this data to a agent, okay? So all of this, we are essentially doing it, think of it as cleaning up the data. Uh, so a agent has more of a structured way of analyzing and read, reading data. Again, you can kind of send everything directly to an agent, directly from the form. But again, the cleaner, and I would say the, the, the more cleaner approach you always do for your uh, and it and workflow is the better result you're gonna get. So you don't want to confuse the agent with a bunch of data that is really not necessary. So always make sure to clean up the data, uh, set it correctly so a agent receives a clean data that it can work with because this way you're gonna receive uh, the best output or the best results for yourself. So we're sending everything from the aggregate data. Um, it's a it's a data or it's an array with um, with bunch of data, which is basically product, pain points, goals. You guys remember we said that in the set or edit node. Okay, this is the format that we wanted to uh, convert that into. So here we have a prompt, okay? So the prompt essentially is sort of just describing what the A agent is, what is the character, right? And also the rules, really important when you work with sort of a, a high level data workflows like here, it's important to describe it in well detail, okay? Because again, we're working with SEO, it's very important to have the correct and the right data. And to do that, you always need to make sure that the prompts are uh, as precise and to the point as possible, okay? So again, describing the agent, um, the rules, okay, what it's supposed to do, analyze the ICP or ideal customer profile, okay, information carefully. And they were saying generate 15, 20 uh, seed keywords based on that, okay? And then a bunch of more rules. Also, we're including a web scraper. I'm gonna show you in a bit uh, where it's located. Uh, we're using web scrapers so a agent can go on the web real time and do the research, making sure that it's using the right strategy for SEO keywords that is up to date in 2025, right? Um, and then again, we are mentioning to avoid, uh, you know, using generic terms, right? To um, So we don't attract irrelevant traffic, which is really important when it comes to SEO, right? You can have like one keyword that is really big and has a lot of search volume. Uh, but that might not be relevant or the traffic for that keyword might be too cold and it's not ready to convert, right? So there's a lot of stages of the funnel when it comes to the SEO. Uh, then we're specifying as a very specific output because that's how we want to output it in, into our spreadsheet right here. Um, let me just show you. So this is basically the final output with all the keywords that it gave it to us, okay? And here you might see something uh, like this. Uh, if you see uh, basically this uh, green data. So in any then we call that um, expression or you can also call it a variable. Um, and it's pretty simple guys. So what it does basically, it pulls the data from the previous node, uh, in, inserts that data into a current node, which is a agent, okay? So we wanna pass that data from here to here to agent so it can work with a data, right? That we extracted from the form. So here you can, you can see, for example, let's say as an example product, okay? So we'll look in the product, okay, JSON data, and then we have the array of zero because arrays always start at the zero. Um, that product, okay, so we're sort of a referencing a specific uh, array. And because you guys remember, I said like the, the data from the aggregate node gets sorted into the array. So uh, and if you want to kind of go through an array and, and target specific item in the array, we're gonna be using index, uh, which is basically in JavaScript and index starts always from zero. So essentially that is one, but if you wanna go it in the 
JavaScript way, um, the index number one would be a zero. A bit confusing, but once you get it, uh, it's fairly easy to get uh, going from there. All right, so what we're doing, uh, we're taking the product right here, so, and then inserting the data like this, okay? So since I'm doing a, um, a pinned data, I can't really drag it, but if you, actually let me show you, I should be able to do it. So if I go back here, um, if I click on copy to editor, so now we have basically data from the execution in the live editor. So if I go here uh, to extract not this one from agent, okay? And let me expand that again. So here guys, um, so now I can drag it, okay? So if I drag this one product right here, you guys can see it's exactly the same thing, right? It's one-to-one. -one. So that's how you can basically uh, insert expressions in a, in a then Well, you can either type it manually, which doesn't make sense. It's gonna be too much time. Uh, and you can just basically drag any of these uh, adjacent, adjacent data uh, blocks that you wanna to feed to your A agent or any other node, right? It can be any other node. So if you wanna take data from the previous node and add it or insert that into the current node to work with it, just simply take it like this and drag it. And here you go, guys. Now the A agent has access to that as well, okay? So it's pretty easy, guys, once you get used to it. Um, you know, it's really smooth as a butter. Um, and then just, again, we're describing, again, what it's supposed to do with the data and expect the format and et cetera. And this is the final output that's gonna be passed along to the next node, okay? Then we're using something called extract keywords. Again, it's a uh, set node. Yeah, it's a set node. So what happens here, uh, we are taking the output, okay? And we are putting that output, all this right here, guys. We're putting that into a keywords array, okay? We're setting that to be a keywords array. And then we're using a bit of, a, um, I would say, expression with JavaScript to basically split that into a individual arrays okay so we have a single array and then we have index of arrays 0 1 2 3 and it goes all the way down to 19 or basically that's 20 um in the uh in the index of javascript's arrays okay so we are basically splitting all of this into a individual array which is going to be basically an individual keyword okay that's what we're doing right here extracting the keywords um then again we're using a set node okay so now we want to combine everything together so meaning that we're combining uh, things from different nodes. So this is the uh, keywords array, okay? Uh, if I expand right here, um, we have the keywords array should be somewhere here. Um, so this is coming from, from the form, I believe, okay? So each of these ones is representing a different node. So what we're doing, we are taking all these nodes, setting it into a set node and combining them together. And then we have the basically the final output right here. Okay, so in a sense, whoops, uh, we're doing that so we can get something like this. Okay, because um, we wouldn't be able to just like simply take all of this and directly log it out to spreadsheet. So we need to set the data and combine basically combine all the data together through the set node so we can output it in this format right here, guys. Okay, on the right side. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing that, as I mentioned before, guys, if I open my spreadsheet, okay, I need that so I can pull the data and plug it into my spreadsheet, okay? So again, if I look here on the timestamp, we have timestamp, product, pain points, goals, uh, current solutions, expertise level, generate keywords, and etc. So if we look, for example, let's take an example for product, okay? So product is right here. Again, I can take this one, this one and drag it here. So if I delete the product as a reference, okay, and drag it again here, it's gonna be the same thing. And here we can see the output of that JSON object, okay? And this is gonna be printed into the spreadsheet right here, okay? So I have timestamp, product, pain points, goals, and et cetera. And I need to have the exact matching values in here because that's how we're gonna be logging it from the spreadsheet node into actual spreadsheet. So we're using a expression to do that. And these are all basically JSON objects that we can use as expressions to feed the data from the previous nodes into the spreadsheet right here using the expressions, guys, okay? And if we look at the final format, guys, here with timestamp uh, product. So these ones are essentially um, the ones that are coming from the form. So B to F, these are basically the form inputs that we submitted, okay, for your reference. Or maybe if you're sending to a customer to somebody so you can kind of see what they submitted, right? Um, and then here are the keywords. This is really the, the core part or the foundational part that we are interested in, okay? 
So if I open that, we have an array of 20 keywords and this is the gold mine because this is what you're going to be using to either optimize your website. So you're going to be plugging in these keywords into your website content, maybe into a blog post or into Google ads, right? So these are the keywords that will help drive the traffic and really um, increase the impression on the Google search, right? Over time. Okay, guys, the SEO is a long-term game. It's going to take you at least three to four months to see differences. But again, if you're losing, if you're using Google, ads which is basically a advertising platform from google if you want to drive paid traffic immediately using these keywords you can go ahead take these ones and start a b testing different campaigns and uh, ad sets using these keywords and see if they are working or not and if not you can again rerun the workflow and try a different set of keywords okay uh, and again this is costing you less than a dollar to run uh entire thing compared with something like 140 dollars a month guys okay so really really cool budget friendly and beginner friendly and yeah guys that's about it um i will be providing this template for free so make sure to check it out under the uh video in the comment box or in the description box okay and also i'll provide the spreadsheet template so you can download it and use it with your and and directly um if you run into any issues uh while configuring or setting up your workflow or spreadsheet just leave a comment below and i'm going to help you out or if you have any questions in general about seo and and or automations also leave a comment um, I always answer all the comments and try to help you out, guys. Um, but if not, as always, guys, I'm going to wish you a happy building and success. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and enable those notifications so you get notified when the next video drops, guys. And I'm going to see you next time.